Hey, good looking. So today's workout is my sweaty mess workout. I have absolutely no idea how long it's going to take us, but you will be a sweaty mess, that much I can guarantee. So grab yourself a pair of heavy, moderate, and light dumbbells, and let's go. Hello there, hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com, and today's workout is all about building strength, working the core, and burning some calories. So as I said in the intro, you're gonna need a wide arrangement of dumbbells from light to heavy. I literally have five pounds to 20 pounds. If you don't have the assortment that I have, at least pick yourself a pair of light and moderate and we will still get the job done. Let's go, here we go. Big arm circles, 10 times backwards. Wake up those shoulders. Hope you're ready. I gave this workout to my class the other day. They loved it when it was over, <laughs> but they actually did like the workout a lot. Last two and one, other direction. My poor classes, they're my guinea pigs as to what workouts I'm gonna post on YouTube, so hats off to them. Excellent, now take the right leg. I want you to give me big circles to warm up into the hip joint. Same leg, good, make them big, get that hip working. One more, other leg. Excellent, nice and tall on the body. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and thank you for joining me today. One more. All right, give me some squats. I'm gonna go to the side so you can see my back. Arms extended out, drop your bum all the way down, then lift up off the heels, do it again. Now I have the back door open today because it's really warm and we still don't have air conditioning in the studio. So we may get a lot more noise, but hey, we can handle it, right? Last four, push those hips back, knees behind the toes, one more, excellent, feet together, step out with your right leg, give me a side lunge, touch the toe with the opposite hand, feet together, do it again, we have 10 of them. Good, here we go, we're warming up into the inner thigh, glute, hamstring, and you're hinging through the hip, okay, on all the moves today, we're not working our back or pulling or straining our back. Train smart, baby. Last two, one more. Excellent, other direction. Give me a good stride out too, okay? I wanna warm those hips up. Four more. Last one. All right, finishing this off with some back lunges now. Take the right leg. Step it far behind you, lean back, arms up, same leg again. Good, so again, good stride behind you. We wanna warm the hip flexor quad up. Arms are straight and going right up to the earlobes so that we can warm up into the shoulder. Yeah, it's a really nice day here in Ladner, which we deserve, because yesterday was crap, man. <laughs> it rained. It really was cold. I actually had to turn the heat on in the house. One more. The other side. Here we go. Beautiful. Bend that back knee. Front knee lines up with the ankle. Two more. Last one. Release. All right. So. We're starting off with a big bang. You're going to need your light, moderate for more advanced people, as well as your heavy dumbbells. I'm gonna show you the three moves before we get going. We have five rounds at 30 seconds on the clock. The first move, grab your light dumbbells or your moderate ones for more advanced people. Okay. These are called women makers. Yeah. So we start on the ground and plank. You can do a push up from the knees or the toes, totally up to you. And then you go up off the knees and give me a row each arm. And then jump the feet up. And as soon as your feet come beside your dumbbell, bring the dumbbells to the shoulders and press up. Okay? If you're looking at me like, forget it, PJ, that's not gonna happen. Then you're gonna stay off the ground and this is what you'll do for me instead, okay? You'll squat, bicep curl, press. 
So if you don't like going down on the ground, bothers your wrist, or your low back's feeling a little tweaky, this is your move. Which is good times because your next move is <laughs> squat and press. So that's our secondary move. And then we can switch out the dumbbells if we're able to use the heavier ones for two arm row. Okay, five rounds, 30 seconds. So grab a slip now, because we literally are not gonna have time once we get going. There's only a 10 second break. All right, on the ground, hands on top of the dumbbells. Start with the push-up, then the row. Ready, push-up. Row from the toes, jump up, dumbbells to the shoulders, press up. Dumbbells down, do it again. Excellent. Keep those hips squared when you do the rows. Woo! Woman makers. <laughs> You make a woman out of you yet. Time. All right, see if you can keep these same dumbbells or switch out to heavier. They're resting on the shoulders. We have a squat, and as we come up, we press up. Try it. Squat, press. Now take a look at those feet, okay? I want them shoulder width, so not too wide. Now knees stay behind the toes. Spine neutral. Whew. I hope I remembered to shave. <laughs> Luckily I'm far enough back, if I didn't, you can't see the stubble. <laughs> Last couple. Oh, the shit that goes through my brain when I start exercising. Done. All right, if you're able to, grab heavier dumbbells. Those are big back muscles. Hinge forward through the hips. Tailbone up, arms straight, row up. I was brushing by the rib cage. Whew. Do not feel this in your low back, if you are, you need to recheck that posture. So I'm getting all my cues out now, because <laughs> FYI, by the fifth round, I don't think I'm gonna be talking as much. So we'll figure it all out the first couple of rounds, and then we can go. <laughs> so we're taking it from the top to the women makers, coming up. Time, all right. On the ground, dumbbells underneath the hands. Push up, row, jump up, squat, press. Whew. And go. So we have five rounds. We've done one. <laughs> that was so unmotivating. Sorry. <laughs> Again, you can do that push up from the knees, then just go on your toes for the rows. All right, feet shoulder width, dumbbells at the shoulders, squat press. Go. Oh. oh man, even with that damn door open, it's still hot in here. Taking it from the top to those women makers for round three. Top. Whew. All right. Women makers, grab your dumbbells on the ground. Push up first, then row. Ready, set, go. Jump up, hands to the shoulders right away, and press, because we don't want the back to get strained on that. So you're getting the dumbbells up there by your legs, not your back. Squat row. 
feet hip width. Dumbbells at the shoulders and squatting down. Press. Slowing down, how about you? Done. All right, switch out to heavier if you can, two arm row. Hinge to the hips, super important. Row up, squeeze the shoulders. Don't round your upper back or your mid back. That's something I see happen quite a bit, so be aware of that. Round four coming up. Todd. Woo All right. Round four, women makers on the ground. Push up, row, jump up, press up. Go. Had a bunch of water before this, that's all I can hear. It's my <laughs> stomach sloshing. <laughs> cool. Do it again. Make sure you're leaning forward enough. We want that upper body parallel to your floor, okay? You don't want to be upright or slightly upright. Come to our final round. Time. Woo. All right, from the top, women makers. Push up, row, row. Whoa. Go. Oh yeah. You're almost there. We get water. Tie. Hoo wee. 
All right, grab yourself a sip of water. We get a little break and then we're moving on. Okay, so I've changed the time to 50 seconds. We have three rounds now. Our first round, you're gonna switch out to light or moderate dumbbells for more advanced people. We've got 50 seconds of weighted burpees. Yeah, but no push up, there's the good news. So we start with a jump, bend the knees, plant the dumbbells as close to the feet as we can, so not too far ahead of us. Jump the feet out and jump them in and do it again. For those of you that want to modify it, you can go no dumbbell if you like or keep the dumbbells, forget the jump, plant the dumbbells, step back, in, up. And then the next time you step back, you lead with the other leg. So I want you to remember which lead leg. From there, we can switch out to heavier if you like. Stationary lunges, 50 seconds each side. Okay, so yeah, 50 seconds, but great news, three rounds. So get your dumbbells. We start with a jump, and then we go into burpee. I'm gonna go to my side. Ready? Here we go, give me a jump. Put the dumbbells close to the feet, jump out, in, and do it again. If you're not sweating after this little move, <laughs> I need to come over and give you heavier dumbbells. Try to get those dumbbells again as close to the feet as possible, not in front of the body. So beside the feet or slightly ahead. Make yourself really work for that squat. Why? Why not? Okay, and then when we do the other leg, you'll bring the other leg on the ground. So, options there for you. Just a heads up, if you do have sore knees, I have quite a few workouts for people with sore knees. Because I get it. I've been training people for over 20 years. Knees are a tough joint, especially as we get older. Everything gets tougher as we get older. Oh my goodness. Takes me twice as long to look half as good now. Almost there. Timer goes, we switch legs. We switch lead legs. Time. Other leg back. Nice and tall on the body. I don't want you to lunge. We're going ahead, okay, and leaning over that front thigh. Go. So if you can, Think about initiating the lunge from the back leg first. You're bending that knee and then coming straight down. All right, we're almost done round one of three. Going back to those weighted burpees next. If you don't think you can do this, one of my participants in my class is 70 years old and she did this workout on Thursday. So it's mind over matter, baby cakes. I hope to God I'm as good as she is when I'm 70. Top. Okay, weighted burpee. So we start with the jump. Planting the dumbbells as close to the feet as possible, not in front of the body. Ready, go. Nice strong plank on that final part of the burpee. Thighs burning yet? Awesome. Say hello to lactic acid. It's a friend, not a foe. Embrace it. Actually, it's not feeling like a friend right now, is it? Friends, don't make the legs hurt this bad. Woo, time. Hallelujah. All right, 
lunge. Split the stance or one-legged bridge. Go. So go on the bridge if you're getting tired, if you're fading on me. Because we're just getting started, baby. <laughs> we're in this for the whole workout. No pause, no stop. You're sticking with me. Leg on fire. Awesome. Other side. Here we go. Ready? Big smile. Let's go. That front knee lines up with the ankle. Remember that posture? I know. I keep nagging, but I must be nagging for a reason. Oh. So we're almost done, round three, two. Sorry, we got one more round to go. out of the way, grab some water, we're moving on. Hasta la vista, weighted burpees. Burpees to lunges, it's a good combo, I know. So I was trying to avoid schoolwork last night. I'm taking a web developer course. <laughs> and somehow I managed on the Lululemon website. And somehow I managed to buy a couple things. Don't know how that happened. Switch. Somebody was bugging me about how many pairs of runners I have. Well, come on, I'm a trainer. This is what I wear all the time. And down. It's like if you work in an office. You have more than one pair of high heels, one pair of boots. You need more than one pair of Nikes as a trainer. I got Nikes that I wear dressed up, Nikes that I wear for running, Nikes that I wear for teaching, Nikes that I wear for these workouts. Yeah. How about you? How many pairs of Nikes do you own? Or runners? Comment below. I can't hear you right now, sorry. <laughs> Last couple. Time. Grab a sip. Whew. 
We're on the mats for the next round. We have three moves to do. We are going to need our heavy dumbbells. Whew. I'm gonna change the time. We're dro dropping it down to 40 seconds. Forty. Okay. I'm gonna demo the moves. Whew. And show you how to modify a couple of them. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna start out with a plank jack and jack knife. Have your heavies, and then you might want to drop down to a moderate or lighter weight, just one for the third move. So I have them set up like so, because I wouldn't want you to waste any time of our exercise getting your dumbbells. Here we go. On the hands, if that bothers your hands, you're on the forearms, okay? From here, we jack the feet out, and then keep the legs straight and pike up. You can tap out as well, and then see if you can try a little pike, okay? From there, we flip over, we grab our heavies, Bums up, chest press. And then we grab our moderate, we have a Russian twist with a double crunch. That bothers your low back, you're going to stay on the mat and give me bicycle crunches. No dumbbell. Good, 40 seconds, three rounds. You ready? Excellent, let's go. Here we go, plank, jack. Good, now pike, keep the legs straight. Good, wrists under the sho shoulders, and we are good to go. So that pike's gonna kinda look like a downward dog at the end. With the exception of we want our wrists under our shoulders. All core here, baby. Feel it? Remember, on the forearms to modify. Time. All right, bridge, heavy dumbbells. Whoa. Four. Upper arm on the ground, press up above the chest, and down again. Hips up high, please. They stay up, so we work the glutes, hamstrings, and low back while we target our chest, shoulders, and triceps on the presses. Nice and tall on the spine. Twist at each side. Now bring the dumbbell into the chest. Extend the upper and lower and come back to center and do it again. One, two, extend. You can modify by doing simple bicycle crunch. All right, so we're almost done in round one. Taking it to the top for round two. Grab a towel. Keep going. Whew. 
and go. Hips up, press it out. person. Exact quote. What the F? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. And you know what? So are you. Or you are. Sorry, that was a really bad comeback. Good thing I didn't say anything. Whew. Last round. I know he meant it as a compliment, but it didn't feel like it. Here we go. Plank jacks to pike. Go. Maybe I should have said, at least I don't have to wake up next to you every morning. <laughs> Damn, that would have been a good one. Ooh, don't you hate it when the good comebacks come to you a few days later? Oh, man. one. Done. I'd actually rather do weighted burpees than that one. Here we go. Chest press. Oh, go. See? There's even moves us trainers who are addicted to exercise don't like. And that was one of them. The other one is push-ups for me. Oh man, I suck at push-ups. But that's why we keep doing them. So we no longer suck. <laughs> Hips up high, okay? We're still bridging, still working in those glutes while we get the upper body working. Hands ending above the chest, back of the arms hitting your ground each time. Time. Whew. All right, here we go. Ready? We get water after this. Nice and tall on the spine, and twist it, twist it, extend. one more grouping to go. All right, so grab a sip of water. We are on the home stretch. Whew. So, what do we need? What do we need? Uh, we need a whole assortment of dumbbells. Your light, moderate, and one heavy. We're starting with the light. I'm going to show you the work, what we're doing and then how to break it down, okay, if it's too much. We have five rounds, okay, of four moves, 30 seconds, and then we're done. Starting with the feet apart, hands at the shoulders, light dumbbells in hand, 
Jump the feet in, press the dumbbells up. So jack, press. Now if you don't like the jumping, you are actually gonna start with your feet together. Step out with one leg, give me a squat. When you come center, press. Step out with the other leg, squat, press. So there's the modified. Deal, deal. Then you can keep your light, so grab your heavy. Feet wide, toes turned out, sumo squat. All right, 10, grab your light. Shoulder presses. If we get tired, we can get into a single arm movement. And then we're finishing off with moderates for hang clean. So let's practice that before we get into the move. I want you to grab your moderate dumbbells. Okay, I'm gonna go to the side so you can see me. Dumbbells in front. Now bend the knees and keep the spine neutral so the dumbbells are hanging just in front of the shin. Nothing rounded in the back. So you with me? All right, from here you're gonna pull up quick, come up on the toes and the dumbbells are gonna end under the armpits, elbows higher than the shoulders. So like uh, scarecrow arms, down. So on this move, you're watching your low back. We're not rounding to get down there. Everything is going by the grace of the legs. Okay, all right. So get your dumbbells set up. Hoo wee. All right, feet apart, light dumbbells in hand. If you're doing the non-jump version, feet together so you can step out and in. Ready? Oh, did I change it to 30 seconds? Nope. <laughs> Good thing I looked. See, I'm a trained professional. <laughs> All right, last round, our last grouping. Ready, set? Here we go. Jump in, press, out, land soft. Pretend that you live in an apartment if you don't and you don't want your neighbors to hear you. So no thunking, no clunking, all muscle control. Straightening the arms each time you press up. Sumo squats are coming up next. We need the heavy. Time. Heavy dumbbell. Toes turned out. Dumbbell in front. Nice and tall in the upper body. Push the bum back. Keep the upper body upright. Knees track with the toes, okay? So you want your toes to turn out when your feet are wider than your hips. Neutral spine, all that good stuff. Shoulder presses coming up next. Time. All right, shoulder presses. Just gonna grab my eights. Stagger your stance, contract the abdominals, press up and back down. Don't let the low back push the bum out, I mean, oh God. I've used up all my words for the day. It's just gonna be gibberish now. Shoot, I hate it when that happens. Don't let the low back sway, that's the word. Yay, PJ. Ooh, man, I gotta tell you. This is a sweaty and a stinky workout. I'm glad no one's beside me. Just thought I'd share. Done. All right, those hang cleans that I taught you. So grab your moderates, okay? I say okay a lot. Here we go, feet, hip width, no wider. Bend the knees, hang the dumbbells in front, neutral spine, and then come up, elbows up higher than the hands. Good, hands stay down, hands are apart. Here's your front view. Okay and clean. <laughs> huh. Taking it from the top to our jack presses for round two. Top, grab your light dumbbells. Feet apart if you're jacking, feet together if you're stepping. Woo, and go. Ah. 
sumo squat. Toes turned out, nice and tall on the body. Drop her down. Shoulder press is coming up next. Time. Light dumbbells. Stagger the stance. Control the core. Press both up. If you're getting tired, one at a time. Hang cleans coming up. Time. Grab your moderates. All right. Feet shoulder width. Neutral spine. Squat down. Clean up. Slow it down. Get the form. Make it crisp. Look up a little bit after you've seen me. Coming up, whoo wee, oh, and go. Almost too slippery and sweaty to hold on to the dumbbell. Feet apart and down. Yeah, no, I'm whining right now, aren't I? Why does my work better? Shoulder press is coming up. Time. Whew. Grab your lights. Stagger your stance. Tight core. Press. Hang cleans coming up. Whew. Grab your moderates. I know, this is good, huh? <laughs> Bend the knees, hang clean. Oh, trust me, you are gonna feel amazing when it's done. One way to get that feeling of accomplishment do something challenging. Huh? We can't get complacent in life. Oh man, we're doing that as a society. Getting complacent, whining about our situation. Ah, uh -uh. it's our life, man. Choose how to live it. Time and live it, baby. Here we go, jack presses. Round four. Say hallelujah, sister. Huh. Go. And 
and it doesn't matter where you come from. I had a great mom and dad, but I had a tough beginning. I was adopted, I was taken away, my mother was deemed unfit. But hey, we can do it, right, if we want to. Sumo squat. But my mom and dad, who raised me, man, did I luck out. They were pretty awesome. And, and then, while they were both dying of cancer, I was building my business. So, yeah, we all got our stories. It's how we choose to react to them. That's what matters most. So thank you for joining me and pushing the limits with your fitness. It's all I want for you. Done. Shoulder presses. Let's get a little gospel on you, wasn't I? Holy cow. I don't know what took over me. And press. I'm feeling like I know the community though. A lot of you have been with me for over a year now. And Although I've never met you, you message me on YouTube channel or even email and it's like I know you. It's pretty cool. It's a social part of media, isn't it? Time. Hand cleans. Here we go. Find that energy. We are on that home stretch. This is awesome. Ready, neutral spine, and pull. Keep the shoulders pulled back. We're not rounding forward. So really strict spine. So heck, if you gotta even try this with no dumbbells to get the form, do it. We can add weight later. Form comes first. I was taught this with a broomstick, <laughs> right? We all start somewhere. Done. All right, last round. Jack presses. Feet apart. Whew, this is it, round five. Go. this the other day. Stop. 
some water, wipe our brow, do a couple of stretches, and then you can finish off with your day. Whew. Or go lay down, whatever one you want. Oh. Yeah. Lukewarm water, nothing refreshes better. <sighs> Dripping in sarcasm. All right, let's stretch out the quads. Heel up, hold on to something if you need to. Tweak it to let your knees under your hips and then squeeze your bum forward and you'll get more of a stretch in that quad. So great job. That's one of the type of workouts on the channel. <sighs> we wrapped it up today, thumbs up. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't already done so, make sure you head to the blog. There's links below in the description. And go pick up your free one month workout calendar. And then each month I'll email you a new workout calendar that'll help keep you on track and fit and healthy. Release this leg a half a step in front. Push the hips back, lean forward. Nice, neutral spine. Feel that stretch in the hamstring. Now drop the chest all the way down in the toe and now round it up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice, other leg. So yeah, before you go, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching from, where you're sweating from. And if you've got any suggestions of workouts that you'd like to see on the channel. Kick the leg a half a step in front, push the hips back, Good job, feel that hamstring stretch. Drop your chest and toe to the ground and roll it up. Oh yeah, interlace the hands, bring the elbows behind, look up, open up the chest. And release. Well done. Hey, thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next workout. Bye. Sweaty mess workout, told ya.